Today's story is about Queen Esther. It can be found in the book of Esther, chapter 2, verses 5 through 18, chapter 3, verse 6, and chapter 8, verses 1 through 17. Once there was a young girl named Esther. Her cousin Mordecai worked for the king. When Esther's parents died, she went to live with her cousin in the palace. Esther learned new things, wore dazzling clothes, and grew into a beautiful young woman. When the king saw Esther, he said, I am so happy. I want you to wear this crown and to be my queen. Now Esther and Mordecai were Jews, and many people did not like Mordecai or the Jewish people. But the king was a wise man, and he always listened to what Mordecai and Esther had to say. One of the men who did not like Mordecai was a very proud man named Haman. One day the king said, I am giving Haman a special job, and because he is so important, everyone should kneel and bow down to him. This made Haman happy because he thought a lot of himself. But Mordecai knew that God was the only one he should bow down to. When Haman saw that Mordecai wouldn't bow to him, he was so mad. And then when he learned that Mordecai was a Jew, he was even madder. This isn't right, Haman said. I am going to punish Mordecai and all of the Jewish people. Haman saw that the king loved Esther and that he listened to Mordecai, and this also made him angry. Haman knew that they were Jews, so he planned for all of the Jews to be killed. But Esther was smarter than Haman. I have found out something very important, Esther told the king while they were eating at a banquet. She told him of Haman's plans to kill all the Jews. When Esther told the king that Mordecai was her cousin and that they were both Jews, the king wasn't mad at her because the king loved Esther so much he gave Mordecai the job that Haman had had before. Here is my ring for you to wear, the king said to Mordecai. Write a message to all of the Jews in my name and seal the letters with my ring. The letters that Mordecai wrote went to people all across the land, and they celebrated with music, feasting, and dancing. Hooray for Queen Esther, the people cheered. Because the king loves her, we are saved. What would you have done if you were Esther in this story? What I would have done if the king was like, super mean like like he is like really mean that i would get so mad i wouldn't even want to be like his friend i wouldn't even want to be his cousin but also that he was going to kill all the jews i would be so scared but i would tell god god if if, if this is my time to die then just do whatever you have to do. And I don't care, I don't care um, if I have to like go somewhere like, I've, I don't care if I had to be hurt, like get super freaked out because God's with me and I always pray to God and every night before we go to bed, we read the Bible and do our blessings and always read our prayers. So I think I would act like that. Thanks.